Meet Lamar Smith, representative from Texas and chairman of the House Committee on the Judiciary. He is using this position not only to rush the SOPA bill through committee, but to kill bills like H.R. 2306, ending Federal Marijuana Prohibition Act of 2011. Lamar Smith says, Decriminalizing marijuana will only lead to millions of more Americans becoming addicted to drugs and greater profits for drug cartels, who fund violence along the U.S.-Mexican border. Lamar used his position as chairman to deny a hearing for the bill. And without a hearing, the bill is practically dead on the spot. You see, Lamar assumed that people abusing their newfound rights would lead to disaster. Just like many people are assuming that if you put corporations and government in charge of traffic on the internet with no due process, that would be abused as well. You see, under SOPA, even so much as a link to copywritten material can be grounds to have it removed from search engines without even informing the site's owners. As you can imagine, this is very unnerving considering the scope of the internet and the fact that everything is usually copywritten to someone else. You can't see it now, but even Lamar Smith was guilty of a copyright violation just a day ago. He quickly removed the image from his site. As you can imagine, the bill would be the equivalent of declaring martial law on the internet. Since the two bills announcement, there have been a huge outpour of anti-SOPA sentiment. Most noteworthy would be the successful boycott of GoDaddy.com. That alone should show you the power of this movement. And yet after a tremendous outcry, Lamar called this a vocal minority and said the evidence against the bill is hypothetical. First of all, I don't know what makes his hypothetical evidence on legalizing marijuana so much better than the hypothetical evidence of millions of people who would assume that this kind of censorship could get out of hand fast. And second, it's not hypothetical. I'm still disappointed by the underwhelming reaction to a video I made a month ago that explained Lady Gaga stop a company in London, England from producing a parody of her. In America, the company would have had the right to do so. But since it was located in the UK, where the parody laws are much stricter, it was forced to stop. So an American used a loophole to impose on an act that is a free right in their own country. And this happens all the time. There are countless frivolous, if not fraudulent, DMCA complaints filed each year. The most recent example would be the Mega Song, produced by Mega Uploader and featuring many prominent music artists, which was pulled from YouTube because of a complaint from Universal, who had no copyright on the material at all. Then there are legitimate concerns about how this will affect the internet on a technical level. An open letter signed by 83 prominent internet inventors and engineers was sent to Congress on December 15th, including the father of the internet, Vent Cerf. Aside from concerns about free speech, most have reached the consensus that this will not stop the pirates because of simple routing programs, and in fact might open gaps in the flow of the internet that could be exploited by malicious hackers. Lamar has yet to address any of the technical concerns brought up. But he did say that critics have yet to point to any language in the bill that supports their argument. Unless you count respected Harvard Law Professor Lawrence Tribe and prominent Yale Law Professor Jack Bulkin and scores of other university professors, all of whom argue that the bill itself is poorly written in too vague a terms and that in any case, the practice would be a violation of the First Amendment. As the days go on, more and more companies and institutions come out against SOPA, while the list of supporters continues to whittle down. Even companies in Lamar Smith's own Texas district are speaking out against SOPA. And all of this despite the fact there has been little to no coverage of the issue on any major news networks. Yet despite all this, Lamar Smith continues to ignore and belittle the opposition, despite the fact that it's coming from so many sources. The issue is not if piracy is bad. The opposition is against the method in which Smith wants to handle the problem. And I really don't care what the issue is. War, taxes, marriage, how much sugar's in your cereal. If you have a representative that willingly manipulates the flow of democracy while ignoring the voice of the people, that is the textbook definition of a tyrant. I feel that Lamar Smith and all like-minded individuals are unfit to serve the American people. This is an election year for Lamar Smith. November 6th, I deeply urge the people living in Texas's 21st Congressional District to remove him from office. As for the rest of us, the SOPA bill is getting another hearing January 18th, where representatives opposing SOPA are going to speak for the first time. During that day, a number of sites, including Reddit, will be going offline to protest SOPA and raise awareness. 
Wikipedia may also join the protest. That would be huge exposure. So I suggest you visit this website and sign a petition and or pledge a dollar to show your support for that. We need another show of force and to raise awareness. So tell your family, tell your friends, and call or write your representatives. I don't care if you did it once before, do it again. And be sure to mention Lamar Smith and how you don't appreciate being ignored. Okay, so I just found out literally just hours after I posted the video that they're planning on removing the DNS blocking from both SOPA and PIPA. Uh, this still doesn't change the fact that they can remove um, any website from Google or any other search engine for just the reasons I stated before. A uh, simple image and even a link to copywritten material. They took one little thing out just to get it passed. So keep on fighting it. Keep raising awareness of it. Don't let up now. This guy did not talk to anyone. He got caught red-handed, violating his own law that he wants to pass. Stop SOPA and kick this guy out of office.